you can think high plunk is a flat plunk and plus some check. Mm. Uh, yeah, if you don't understand the later explanation, just remember this one. Mm. Mm, and for plant, we have git identity constraint and varying identity constraint. Uh, let me explain what happened. Um, so here we have uh, a circuit, a very simple circuit. So this one, this is the addition. This one is a multiplication and this one is the multiplication as well. And here is the output. Mm -hmm. um, so this the signal we can label them x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and x6. Uh, the, the gate identity means that uh, we write, write down the constraint here. You will get for this addition gate. We will get um, x one x x two equals to x five, right? For uh, we can also label um, this is the uh, number one gate, number two gate, number three gate. Uh, and for, for, for this one, we have x5 multiply x6 equals to all. And the third one is x3 also multiply x4 equals to x6. Um, so yeah, this kind of constraint is the gate identity. We, we, we need to make sure uh, our constraints set, satisfy. Uh, and also the other constraint is the varying identity. So this means that if you look at this um, the varying part, actually uh, x5 and x6 is both output and uh, input, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if we add another variable here, uh, we can say this one uh, would be maybe x7, so here x8. We want to make sure x7 equals x5 and uh, x6 equals to x8. Yeah, so they are talking about this one. So that's plan. Um, for high plan, uh, what they do is that they introduce some check. Where some check applies here is um, uh, okay. Uh, let me finish the plant part. Um, a, you have get you you need to um, prove these two kind of constraint to. Verifier as a tool, uh, and then so for varying identity checking, uh, the next step will be uh, multi side check. Uh, I'll explain this later, and then it is reduced to product check and later to zero check. And finally, we have some check. Um, yeah. Uh, for, for gate identity check, it will go to uh, zero check and then some check. So yeah, that's uh, hyper plan. for this, the, this graph. Uh, and also they have a hy hyperplan class is uh, 
uh, is Terrapunk plus P lookup is a lookup argument. Okay, we we only focus this part hyper plug. One thing I wanted to ask: Can you can you have an arbitrary number like I know? Um, that doesn't hyperplonk have like custom gates where you can have, let's say it was three inputs to the x1, x2 node? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, it sounds like, um, yeah, any, any numbers you, you, you can. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not like R1, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I need to explain this, uh, this one. So first of all, we have a uh, computation or program and then we convert it to a circuit then we have a constraint then we will use some arithmetician to uh, to process this circuit and then <coughs> we convert them to a, po a polynomial let's do this arithmetician part Hmm. I think I can use um, uh, what Plunk is, I uh, use uh, this form. Um, it has Q, L, W, V, Q, R, W, V, R, Uh, it uses this kind of form to do the arithmetization. Um, so here we use two table to um, make them to a polynomial. So first, uh, uh, we can go through that circuit. Mm, so this is the gate. Number one, number two, number three. Uh, we will start from the witness. Uh, the, all all these tables are business. Uh, so mm, for the uh, WA will be the left side, WB will be the right side, and WC will be the output. So for the uh, the number one gate is, is this gate, right? So we have uh, X five, X six, and all X five. For number two, um, x one, x two. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, I use x seven. Uh, so here, actually, we need to make sure x five equals x seven. Later, I will explain how to do that. Uh, and number three will be x three, x four. And x8. Mm, we also need to make sure x8 equals to mm -hmm. x6. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, next is uh, q. Um, q, you can think it as a selector. Uh, QL and QR is the addition selector. And QM is the multiplication um, selector. And this is the constant one, and this is uh, for the output. I will show uh, this also gate. QL, QR, The first gate is a multiplication gate, so this one will be one, and the other will be the addition will be zero. And QC actually we, we don't have uh, any 
Tab input, so actually all of them are zero. And all the output, they have output, so we just put one here. Um, the third, the second one, the third one is the addition gate, so uh, they are one, and they are no multiplication, so just put uh, zero here. Uh, how would this one apply this one? We, we, we can see that, you just multiply them together, uh, it will be uh, QL. QL will be 0, 1, 1, right? 0, 1, 1. So multiply WA will be X, Y, X, 1, X, 3. Will be 0, 1, 1. Will be X, 6, X, 2, X, 4. QM one zero zero and X five X one X three X six X two X four. Uh, uh, here is zero, so we, we just ignore it. The Q O is one one one. Here is alt seven eight. Alt seven eight. Um, yeah, so here will be zero one one, right? So um, we have x zero x three. at this uh, constraints is exactly that one. Uh, x5 <coughs> multiply x6 equals to equals this alt and the x1 plus x2 is x7. Uh, x5 is equals to x7 is the same. And uh, this one is the last one, right? So that's how this arithmetization works for Plankish. Uh, so far, good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. So. Um, oh wait, I actually wanted to ask um, the the last uh, ve vector, the out x seven x eight, is that supposed to be on the left side and then equal to zero, or is it supposed to be the left side equal to the right side, or it doesn't matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just the okay minus two zero. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so finally we get this uh, polynomial, mm, but normally this polynomial is on a, a cyclic sub multiplicative subgroup. Uh, you mentioned that smooth, that smooth is mostly uh, similar to a, a unit circle. Uh, you, you, you get this one, uh, so they are uh, symmetry. You get these symmetry points. You just uh, take points to uh, do the interpolation for that. Mm. And so, so this can use FFT to do the interpolation. Um, so, so, uh, so here the constraint is equals zero, so we can uh, it means that all uh, we, we will have a size of a points to x i y i uh, there, there will be a size uh, for that to do this inflation and for all the x um, 
to interpolate this uh, polynomial and a evaluate this polynomial at these points, then all the values will be zero. Uh, then the idea is to uh, use some check to um, so this check this check is equals to zero is uh, zero check and then it just uh, converts this check to a uh, sum check. Um, yeah, later I will. Okay, I explain how what what is sum check. Uh, the sum check the goal is very simple. I mm, such as I uh, have x uh, the value is one two three four, and also I have f x. I just want to demonstrate that mm, there is a sum value equals to f one f two f three and f. Um, the way to check that is uh, mm, So normally, some check we use a uh, uh, form uh, multi-linear. Multi-linear means that there are multi uh, variables for this uh, function, um, such as f a one, a two, a three, and a four. Um, the way it checks, uh, all the values are in equals to zero or one. Uh, and the subcheck protocol works is, mm, so there will be a uh, detection between over and the verifier. So first, uh, Prover will construct a polynomial based on this one. Uh, uh, you can think this as a uh, coefficient, I think, and then for just uh, construct uh, f1, another polynomial, to make this uh, unknown x. So f1 x equals to f x a2, a3, a4. Uh, and then it sends to f1 x and uh, s to verify. Then verify just, just need to check this uh, equation satisfied f1 0 plus f1 1 equals to s. If this uh, they are equals then it's, it's good to go on. And then verifier will send a random number R1 back. And uh, Prover use another, construct another polynomial is F2x equals to. Uh, so Prover just replace this x with R1. F R1. X. So so this one is X, the second one, and then A3, A4, and send back to F2X. So the, the final round, uh, the following round only need to send this polynomial, and then very far I need to check F2, 0, S, F1, F2, 1. 
equals to i one r one. So here, uh, I think it may take some time to understand this. And f two of x that the proof we're sending is just the evaluation, right? It's not. It's not revealing the function in any way. It's, uh, let's be simple. It's just the, the original polynomial. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can commit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Commit it, but it's a commit. Uh, yeah. Uh, so here is just use the original uh, polynomial and send over, and then verifier just use this one to do the evaluation and check this um, whether they are. Mm -hmm. So this f one is uh, from the last one because f f one x is already checked, so this one is correct. Then if uh, this equation is satisfied, then f two is also correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let, let's continue. Mm, next, uh, verify send another. Random number is S two and for for construct polynomial with this one R one R two X A four. Then send back to my five three X. My five check F three zero. First check F four zero F four one equals to F three R three. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. some check. I, I just use uh, four variables. Actually, you can use uh, multiply. And the the eight variables are what the prover wants to prove as the input to the function? Uh, yes, you, so these are private. Yeah, yeah, wins. Mm -hmm. what, what determines the amount of rounds of this sum check protocol? What determines? It determines this, uh, uh, this sum is correct. As in how many rounds do you um, How do you know? Uh, four rounds, so de determine, um, it's it's the have the same number of the variables. And oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. So the prover has the sum to begin with. Yes. And it's just proving to the verifier. Yeah. 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 Nice. So at the end, all of the outputs are summed. Hmm. So like the it's just to check each step one by one. Okay. So. Yeah, if along this way all these steps are satisfied, then mm -hmm. the first one, this sum is correct. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Super cool. Uh, so, yeah, so um, you can see that uh, this, this is a sum, right? The sum is zero, so we just replace this s with zero. So we can do the sum check, but the difference the difference is that um, this uh, uh, they are in a different domain. Uh, different domain means that uh, 
this sometimes works, work with uh, zero and one, but this one works with uh, uh, some group such as uh, you mean here uh, we just uh, mentioned that cyclic subgroup. So the so this one you will have a generator omega. Then this side will be omega, omega square and omega two three, uh, mm -hmm. like this. So it is different, uh, and so uh, some some tricks need to be introduced to do this uh, conversion. Uh, these tricks we call it a hypercube. Mm -hmm. Hypercube. Mm. I just explained the concept for that. Um, uh, you you can, I think for for simple world we can just uh, use these numbers uh, to explain. So we the the idea is that we do a mapping from the number to a disk binary. Uh, form. So for F1, we can just use F0, 0, 0. Or F0, 0, 0 equals to some value. Or F2, it can be 0, 1. F3, it can be 1, 0. F4, So yeah, so we kind of have this this chain. Finally, we can go to the uh, sum check. Um, let's go through this one. We have a plank, and we need to uh, prove the gate identity. Then we do the arithmetization to uh, get this polynomial, and then we use hypercube to convert it as uh, this binary side, mm -hmm. and then we can use the sum check to prove this uh, sum is zero. Yeah. So that's how this uh, this branch works. Uh, here, sum check and uh, a zero, zero check and sum check. This is amazing theory. Uh, I don't know how much time I have. Uh, yeah, because I, I was wondering the, for the, for the multi-set, Check in the product check is the multi set the Boolean hypercube check? Uh, yes, they actually they, they uh, the multi check is also finally reduced to here because they also have some polynomial. Mm -hmm. um, but the polynomial is different. I can do a strong introduction for that. I'm thinking like, what is the difference between the zero check and the sum check? Because the sum check is verifying that the sum is zero, right? Mm. No, sum check, you can do any, uh, the sum can be any value. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Zero check, just do the result is zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From the from the polynomial from the constraints. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So so next we need to prove they are the same. Um. So how to prove that? Um. Such as we have a one. A two, A three, A four, and uh, so normally mm, the program will do some permutation. A two such as we just uh, shift uh, left, so you get A three, A four, and A one, and uh, the. Uh, 
So actually, we, we, we want to demonstrate that they are the same. Um, you can check one by one, but it's not efficient. So mm -hmm. the simple way is that if we can check a1 equals a2, a2 equals a3, a3 equals to a4, a4, yeah. and this constraint is satisfied. Um, and if we write them in a polynomial form, it will be x a1 minus uh, x a2. Um, equals to x a two mm, a two. Um, so this is a multi-site check, mm. and then we convert it to a polynomial with a product. So it's here. Um, Varying to multi cell check and to product check. Um, the zero check actually, there's another paper that they, they, they said that um, uh, you, you can uh, convert this uh, uh, grant product to, uh, to, to get some value. So they, this, the that form, I, I don't read that paper. Uh, I think that. The idea is that mm, they, they also convert to this form so mm, and construct a polynomial. So it says that for this value, uh, you just uh, evaluate this uh, mm. at this point, and then you will get this sum. Mm. Wait, I'm sorry. What is that symbol? What, the, what? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Uh, it, I, I think it's you just uh, uh, reduce and you get some form of this polynomial and uh, evaluate this fixed point and you will get this sum. So you by, replace the product check. Yeah, uh, you get the sum. Yeah, you get some sum of that. Then you can use some check. Yeah. Uh, so so that, that that approach is faster than the than that version of the product check. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. So the original one, you use uh, uh, FFT. FFT. Mm -hmm. uh, the plant, you use FFT. So the complexity is all n log n. And the subcheck is O n. So mm -hmm. it includes here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the idea of all. Have fun. Nice.